Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be previewing the 2021 Wilkes University men's volleyball season. Our guest today is head coach Joe Chopek. Coach, thanks for joining us. Adam, thank you so much for having me today. Now, Coach, we're obviously going through a shortened season, but let's talk about what your expectations are for the upcoming 2021 season. Well, first and foremost, I have to let you know my guys are so excited just to be playing this spring after, a, you know, last year's shortened season and the way it did. Um, so, you know, we're just excited. We're going to make the best of this no matter what. Um, this year, we're a real young team. 50% of our team are first-year players. Um, so our expectations this year is just to continue improving week to week, getting better and better, and using this season as a real solid experience builder. Um, overall goal, we always want to make the playoffs. This year, the MAC is taking all nine teams to the playoffs. So the ultimate goal is to try to get the best seed we can in that round, lab postseason playoff round. Now let's talk about the returners. You have a, a large group of guys that gained experience last year that returned this year. What can you tell us about them? All right, we're returning seven players this year. And, you know, first and foremost, I have my, uh, my seniors. And I just want to footnote the fact that both of my seniors this year are the first of the programs graduating four-year athletes. So it's kind of exciting that we got these guys through all this. Um, first, we have Andrew Potter, who's a, our team captain, outside hitter for us. Um, Andrew did a nice job last year. He led the team in kills, or he was tied for the team with kills with 166. Led the team in aces with 24, and then he was third on the team with 103 digs. Uh, his counterpart, senior Joey Gayton, second line, or you know, split only defensive role, and he, he tied for second in digs, only second to the libero, so he had 103 digs on last season. Going forward, my juniors, two juniors we have uh, coming up. We're looking for a huge season out of our juniors to step it up. There's no doubt. First, we have Ethan Spiker. Um, Ethan was plagued with some injuries last year, played about half his season overall, but he still managed to finish um, tied for second or tied for fourth with blocks with uh, 26. Um, Everett Fritz, the other junior, he wound up with a split role last season with our roster size was a little larger. Everett finished the season tied for second in blocks with 27 and tied for fourth with kills with 67 on the team. Our uh, returning freshmen, our sophomore class this year, uh, boy, oh boy, you know, these guys got a ton of experience last year. Um, first, we'll talk about Zach Evans, outside hitter from a local Berwick area. Um, Zach came on and, and really was, was having the best season we could expect it for a first year. He tied Andy Potter with kills for 166 last year. And we're certainly looking for him to make some noise with the, another full season of experience this year. Um, another important sophomore this year to us, Zach Shea. You know, Zach led our offense. He was our offensive quarterback. And as a freshman, he did a nice job, had a 488 assists on the season. But this year, we look for him to be running a much more complex offense. You know, his experience is going to step it up a little bit. And I think that the, uh, the, the guys he has above him are going to really help him make that happen. Third and third uh, returning freshman, Casey Shipman. He's going to step into a new role this year with losses we had of a few players. He's going to step up and he's going to take uh, our Labaro's position this year. So we don't have a lot of stats on him, but he's looking for an increased role. And then we get into the freshman class, and uh, we brought six new guys in this year. Um, one of the top guys coming in, Noah Taylor, obviously. He's uh, from down in Jersey, real good volleyball area. So he's solid background in volleyball. He's got a great uh, volleyball IQ to his, you know, in his back pocket there. Uh, he brings another six rotation outside hitter to us, and I, I don't doubt that he'll see a, a, a significant amount of court time this year. Um, second to none, obviously, but Paul Binner, local local prospect, came out of our Wyoming Valley Conference here. Um, Paul will fill in big shoes th uh, this year. He's going to fill in for Cole Heffern, and uh, he's going to fill that middle position. He's a solid athlete. He can play multiple positions, so we gave him a big role this year, and, and I think he can handle the, the job in front of him. Third uh, freshman we have is a guy by the name of Jackson Schaefer, dual sport athlete, playing for the men's basketball team now, making some noise on the court. I see the other day watching the stats go on, and but he definitely is is one of the most um, athletic guys we're bringing in. Um, he brings some additional height with him as well, and I can just see he's going to be a big offensive west for us when we do get the opportunity to, to have him. Um, last three guys, Tyler Rushton, Nanny Coke prospect out of there. He will be our backup, take a role as our backup setter this year. Um, we got Matt Molnar from up at Abington Heights area. He's going to be our backup in our opposite position as well as our third middle blocker if we do need him for there. And then we have uh, Aiden Sandal back out of, out of the Lebanon area. And this year we're going to do something a little different. Men's league, we can run 
two libero's. He's going to be our second libero with Casey Shipman. That's all of them. So let's talk about the conference. Men's volleyball plays in the MAC conference. Um, what are your expectations for this year? We're not going to, you know, we're obviously not going to play the same amount of matches that we normally would play. We're even between the conference and out of conference. So we're going straight into conference play. What can you tell us about that? Okay, uh, you know, the D3 men's volleyball game, one of the fastest growing sports in the nation, still, uh, you know, teams are just adding left and right. And, and as we do, we keep adding them to the MAC, and it's just getting better and better for us overall. Um, the MAC conference, extremely competitive. Rumor has it, it's even though it's a fairly new conference, is one of the, the, the third strongest conferences in the country. Um, our goal with, with this is to make it through all 16 matches with everybody on the court. That's ultimately what we want to do. Coach, even though we're obviously happy to be playing a schedule, there are some negatives and there are some positives to playing a short and truncated schedule. With what you've seen in practice so far, what are some of the positive things that you've seen um, during your, you know, masked practices, your, just with the, uh, the COVID protocols that we're going through this year? Well, although they're a little bit prohibitive, they have brought their positives to us, Adam. Uh, there's no doubt the camaraderie on the team is just – multiplied from, you know, from not being able to play, losing the season through the fall and being able to get together on the court with each other. And now having a season, it's just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, the, the, the upperclassmen are doing all they can to get the freshmen up to speed real fast. So that part of the aspect game is just, it's something you can't coach coach. It's something that your team breeds. And we just love the fact. Um, the other part that we really liked this fall was the extended non-traditional season, not being squeezed into a five-week period, you know, limiting our practice time. We were given all 11, 11 weeks a semester to bring the guys together, let them practice together and grow together. So uh, those are two of the high points that did come out of COVID in our plan. All right, Coach. Wilkes University men's volleyball kicks off the 2021 season this Wednesday when it hosts Alvernia University, 7 p.m. start time inside the March Center. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this year. Thanks so much, Adam. Take care.